Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm Erica, the teen librarian here at Delmont Gardens and you are going to be participating in our Popsicle Stick Puzzle program. What you're going to get in your bag is Popsicle Sticks, markers, and tape. You're also going to have written instructions that come with this YouTube video attached to it to help you make your own puzzle. I will be showing you a design that I created, but you can create literally any design you want from, you know, faces to animals to flower prints to however you like it. So keep that in mind and get ready to start. You're going to be sent home with about eight popsicle sticks per bag, and you're going to want to line them up nice and neat. Uh, as I have them in this video and then you're going to tape the bottom parts of it where all the little rounded bits are uh, so that you can create one a steady canvas and two a border in which your puzzle appears in. I'll show you here how it looks kind of farther out than those close-up images that I did. Uh, you'll notice that there's a piece of white paper underneath mine. This is an option for you if you want to do this. I like to put paper underneath what I'm working on. I drew an outline of the space that I would be working in, and then I created a little rough draft of the puzzle I was going to create. And I wanted to do flowers with little uh, lightning bugs or lights, anything that kind of made it pop. So I just sketched that out. And then in marker, I drew that on the popsicle sticks uh, with different colors. And here you can see where I've already started coloring in my flowers and setting up the color blocking that I want. Now in the next image you see, it's going to flash forward a little bit. The flash forward is to show you the finished product. I used black as my background color just so that all the colors would really pop out and appear really bright and kind of spectacular. You of course can choose any color for your background. It is entirely up to you. After that you will take the tape off of your popsicle sticks. There will be some bleed through. That's just kind of how it works. And then you can push, break them apart uh, from each other mix them up and you'll create your very own puzzle. So it's a lot of fun and it's kind of full of endless possibilities. You can also, if you want to make it hard, do another design on the back side of these and then try to figure out which side is up. All right, well, thank you so much for coming to this program online and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Thank you.